Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 11, 2024, the U.S. Space Force unveiled a groundbreaking collaboration with Aerospace Titan's Rocket Lab and True Anomaly, marking a pivotal step in bolstering the nation's defensive posture in space. Named Victus Hayes, this mission stands as a formidable testament to America's resolve to counter potential threats looming in the celestial expanse. At its core, Victus Hayes is a meticulously crafted simulation aimed at fortifying the nation's capacity to navigate and neutralize on-orbit aggression, an ominous specter looming large as the cosmos witnesses a surge in rival interests. The mission blueprint entails deploying a rocket lab-crafted spacecraft to intercept and engage with a satellite conjured by True Anomaly, effectively emulating a high-stakes scenario of space-based conflict. General Michael Getline, Vice Chief of Space Operations for the Space Force, elucidated the imperative underpinning Victus Hayes, underscoring the exigency for proactive measures in deciphering the intent and capabilities of foreign space assets. We need the ability to go up there and figure out what this thing is, General Getline emphasized, encapsulating the mission's strategic essence. In the envisioned choreography, True Anomaly Satellite assumes the role of a potential adversary, initiating the orbital dance, with Rocket Lab's counterpart poised to respond on cue, orchestrating an intricate pas de deux to ascertain readiness and efficacy in the face of simulated threats. Echoing the sentiments, even Rogers, the luminary co-founder and CEO of True Anomaly, lauded the audacious undertaking, emphasizing its role in catapulting the Space Force into an era of heightened readiness and response capability. The mission, as expounded by a Space Systems Command spokesperson, is poised to equip the Space Force with the requisite acumen to orchestrate swift countermeasures against adversarial incursions in orbit. Notably, Victus Hayes emerges as a direct descendant of its predecessor, Victus Knox, which showcased the potential for rapid response in space logistics, a feat achieved through the collaborative synergy between the Space Force and industry stalwarts Firefly Aerospace and Millennium Space Systems. Colonel Brian McLean, the Program Executive Officer for Space Domain Awareness and Combat Power at Space Systems Command, underscored the broader strategic calculus underpinning these ventures, citing the imperative of leveraging commercial innovations to counter emerging threats, particularly from geopolitical adversaries like China. While True Anomaly navigates the headwinds of past setbacks, the company remains resolute in its pursuit of technological ascendancy, with plans for two additional demonstration missions preceding Victus Hayes, buoyed by substantial investments from both Space WERX and private capital. As the mission hurdles through its preparatory phases, including hot standby and launch activation, it stands poised to not only stress-test technological moorings but also catalyze a cultural paradigm shift within the Space Force, ushering in an era defined by agility and responsiveness in the ever-evolving theater of space operations. In essence, Victus Hayes unfurls as a bold proclamation of America's commitment to safeguarding its strategic interests in the cosmic theater, an assertion of resilience in the face of burgeoning challenges, where space emerges not merely as a frontier but as the vanguard of strategic contention reminiscent of the armored behemoths of yore. That's all for now, see you later.